How do you evaluate hay when there has not been a chemical analysis performed? There are five physical characteristics of hay that can be utilized as a guide when you're trying to predict forage quality. The five characteristics are maturity, leafiness, color, odor and condition, and form material. Let's look at each one of these separately. Maturity is normally the main factor in assessing hay quality as it has a direct impact on nutritive value and intake. As the plant matures, the feed value goes down. Therefore, we want to maximize the amount of forage while not compromising the quality. Legumes such as alfalfa should be cut in the late bud or early bloom stage. Clovers at 20%. Grasses should be cut in the boot to early heading stage. Hay harvested during ideal maturity stage contains more young green leaves than yellowish dead leaves. High stem to leaf ratio, small and or fine stems with low number of seed heads and seed stems. Leafiness, the ratio of leaves to stems is an excellent indicator of hay quality. In general, hay with a higher proportion of leaves to stems is more desirable because leaves have a higher amount of nutrients than stems. As a rule of thumb, two thirds of the hay protein is in the leaves. Hay with ideal leafiness contain a high leaf to stem ratio, small fine stems, large intact leaves, and very low leaf attached detachment at touch. Color. The most desirable hay color is the bright green of the immature crop in the field. This indicates that the hay was rapidly and properly cured with no damage from rain, molds, or overheating during storage. However, sun bleached hay is still a light golden color and is only on the sides of the bale and not on the inside. Odor and condition. Odor is mainly affected by forage moisture content at baling. Generally, the smell of new mown hay is used as a standard for comparison. Off odors such as mildew, mustiness, or rotten odors indicate low quality. The hay should be free from dust and mold and from insect and disease damage. It should also be dust free. The texture of the bale should be soft and pliable. Soft hay will be eaten in a greater quantity than brittle hay. Foreign material. Weeds are the most common form material in hay and can decrease hay quality. Trash, insects, dirt, and dead animals are other form materials that will bring down hay quality and cause animal health issues. Regardless of whether one is buying, selling, producing, or feeding hay, quality should be a major consideration. Understanding the impact of very hay quality and animal performance results in a more efficient and economical feeding program. Mm -hmm.